Justin. What? And Monty. Tonight we're taking a look at the 8C uh, Maduro Square. Uh, this is coming in with a beautiful dark brown wrapper. Box pressed. Um, seams are almost invisible. No major veins at all. Just very nice, very smooth. Not a lot of tooth to it. Overall, just looks like a beautiful cigar. The aroma coming off the wrapper for me is very, very chocolate and barnyard for me. It's a, it's a nice combination of both, but uh, chocolate is probably the prevailing uh, aroma. And then off the book, just tons and tons of chocolate. This is a gorgeous smelling cigar, and I hope that uh, holds true into the flavors. Yeah, really, uh, really nice looking cigar. You know, I've, I've had it before, so I might be a little bit biased, but HC is one of those cigar companies, too, that I've just never had a bad one. So, always looking forward to smoking an HC. Uh, this one's got a got a box press. It's a little bit more pointed off in, in some areas, but, you know, just a real classy look to it. Very, very dark, very consistent um, look, you know, to the wrapper, and uh, kind, kind of a firm pack, but, you know, and I've smoked it before, so I know it burns really well. But um, yeah, as for as for the flavors, the, the whole thing just just or the aromas, the whole thing just smells like I walked into a confectionery. You know, there's a lot of that, just all sorts of chocolate, um, especially on the wrapper, and then yeah, on the foot, maybe just a little bit of like dark earth, but mostly just chocolate, 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 all the way through. It's a little bit chocolate. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah, not that much. Yeah, I agree. It's a really nice firm box press. It's a really super good looking cigar. Uh, really pretty band to it. But uh, I get the same as the uh, other guys. The, the, the wrapper does have lots of chocolate on it. But the foot and the filler to me is not chocolate at all whatsoever, which is kind of funny. And it's very earthy and has a lot of hay and grass notes to it. So uh, that's what I get off of it. Rick, you can come in, you don't have to be on camera. I mean, John, not Rick. You mean Bill. Bill. Oh, Bill. Kill Bill. Tobacco itself, like the, the, the wrapper up here, it's got sort of this parching 
effect. Kind of drying? Yeah, kind of, kind of yeah. drying on the effect on my lips. And, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a unique smoke, but very, very smooth. I'm not coughing anymore, so it's, it's uh, really, really good. Yeah, mine's burned really, really well. Um, the ash is holding on fairly well, but I don't have a whole lot of hope that it's going to stick. I think it's probably about to fall off on me after about an inch or so, but it's been a really nice cigar. It's like Wyatt said, it's been really smooth. Um, I get a, a whole lot of earthiness, and then to, for me, the finish is really starting to get some cedar notes to it. I can really pick up some cedar on that finish. And I'd say it's about a medium finish, not quite a long. But uh, it's a really nice start, you know. I mean, the, my draw has been great the whole way through, and, and I was kind of wondering, because sometimes these really hard box press cigars, sometimes the burn gets really crazy pretty quick, but it stayed really nice so far. So, so far, it's good. Well, let's move to the second third. Well, welcome right. back. We uh, skipped the halfway, went into the final third. For me, there's no changes, nothing to really update you on. Uh, but here in this final third, it's pretty much the same as even the very first update. It's very earthy dark tobacco. Uh, it's about a medium in body. It has ramped up a little bit. Ash is held on uh, relatively well, even though it looks a little flaky. Burn is uh, it's pretty good. Never needed a touch-up, but never razor sharp for me. Uh, overall, I really do enjoy this smoke. It's a little one-dimensional, very simple, but the flavor that I do get, I really do enjoy. Um, as for performance and flavor and everything, I would give it a solid 8. I really like it. I'd definitely smoke it again. These uh, Zycar HCs, uh, Wyatt said it best, I've never had a bad one. And this, is, this is not an exception. So yeah, solid eight. Yeah, I, I totally agree. The, uh, it, it is kind, kind of one dimensional, but it's a really good dimension. Uh, you know, the first half for me was like a really creamy milk chocolate. And then it, it went, when it hit about halfway, it got steadily more toward like a bitter dark chocolate. But you know, chocolate all, all the way through. And I you know, get chocolate coffee and I, I Love the taste of chocolate, so this is a great cigar for me. Uh, what did you get these? Oh, I think I got the box for like 60 bucks, like three bucks a stick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, totally, totally worth it because, you know, these these cigars won't break the bank and they're, they're real tasty. And, and again, I'm, I'm really impressed with Zycar. Never had a bad one. Uh, construction is always really good, so I go a little bit higher. I give it eight, uh, an eight and a half. Definitely something to keep around. And, you know, I think you can smoke this at certainly. You know, mid-afternoon to the end of the day, um, and I think you can also give this cigar to somebody that doesn't routinely smoke cigars, and they'd end up really appreciating it. Yeah, I agree. It's been a really, really good cigar, um, and, and why it's right, it is a little bit one-dimensional, but it's been good the whole time, so, you know, who cares? I wouldn't want it to change. And uh, I, I mentioned early on that sometimes these really sharp box press cigars, sometimes the burn gets off, and uh, this one hasn't. I think I just touched it up once more, more just because I was playing around with the lighter. Um, it really didn't need any help at all. Um, it's never been harsh, never bitter. Uh, re just really smooth the whole way through. And for me, there was never any pepper. I know why I got a bunch of pepper right at first. I never got that, which is even better for me. So I really like this cigar, and especially for the, the price tag. It's, I think it's a damn good cigar. Um, I'd still just give it an 8, though. Overall, it's an 8, but definitely I, I'd smoke another one of these right now. Well, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, smoke them if you got them.